elementary by all the standards. It is young democratic democracy that needs assistance to build the right institutions to, to stand, stand. It is fragile democratic system. Historically, young democracies go through the many up and downs. In their path to establish sustainable system, needless to, to say, you as hard it is shared during the American Civil War. One of the one of the ways that could could, could be assist a country to reach that end is to have education population and the united vision of course the same is needed for the building sustainable economic economic and uh, providing public service however before any these goals could be achieved security must be improved and the genuine establishment must be taken toward this. In August 1912, in, in August 2012, a new president was elected. I had lost a parliamentary election. As a result, I have accepted the uh, defeat and uh, handed over the power to the newly elected President Hassan Shaikh and the act that was last seen in 1960, in 1967 when our first President Erdogan Abdullah Usman did same and set new democratic transition of power in Africa. To mention this peace and to gain on it is will need all the help that we can get, especially from the Somali communities in the diaspora. We need programs to encourage them as their knowledge and the, and the appeal to their sense of duty to help this young nation that is in danger of the not fighting way out. We also say to those that are fighting, fighting the government who are being in this tyrannizing the country to put down their weapons and become part of the pro positive movement to rebuild our great nation. So we can all, all live in peace and harmony. I am more than helpful that we can achieve a greatness if we if we pull together and use our love country, our, our sense of duty of safe another generation that otherwise will be lost in the hopelessness and the fear. Our darkness the days are behind us. Our nation is ready to be part of the peace-loving community of the nation and the search up with the 21 century. Thank you. So the important thing here, how we come together to the ground to see from one side. Uh, 
students and here they get good opportunity uh, to know uh, the education and the technology and the, uh, how they can uh, move forward. But in Africa, they try, they try, but they didn't reach this level. In Africa, now there are uh, uh, organization, organizations trying to educate the people how they come together and how they help each other and how uh, education has come uh, strong and helpful. Uh, in my country, 20 years, they didn't get enough education. They didn't get the enough schools. They didn't get enough uh, food. They didn't get enough job. Uh, but, uh, as you know, they do something. They do business. They do, they do uh, good telecommunications, they do uh, uh, hawala or money exchanges, uh, they do uh, Somali, Somali uh, uh, society, they know the business. And Somalia, they have many resources. Uh, our country, is uh, young, our site is young, but uh, during the conflict and the civil war, many educated people come uh, across the Western country and they start their educators here. And now we are looking to bring him back to help the people to do something there. So, uh, this opportunity uh, created a uh, chance to know each other and uh, to visit uh, those countries to see how the people they work, how the people they think, how the people they love. Because a young people here I think they have everything, but there, uh, in Somalia, in Africa, they don't have anything, everything, but they are they try to do something. So I uh, appreciate uh, this uh, opportunity, and I, I, I want uh, to say uh, my English is. Uh, uh, poor, but uh, I think you get something, so thank you very much. Thank you.